hey you welcome back in today's video i am unboxing so many makeup products so you can call this a makeup haul and if you are interested in seeing everything that i got then just keep on watching Welcome back, and if you are new here, my name is Brittany. I'm a mother of a three-year-old boy. I do lifestyle and beauty here on this channel, and so if you're interested in that sort of content, then you can hit the subscribe button below, and let's get into this video. So guys, can you believe that it has been years now since I've been on YouTube? Like, it's crazy. Like, I feel like it went by so fast because I feel like I just started my channel and I, technically I did but I had my YouTube anniversary last month in September but I just didn't even think to do anything big for it because I've been gone for a little while from YouTube but I'm back now and I'm back with a big unboxing this in particular is a lot of different makeup and skincare products and maybe even some hair care I'm not quite sure because I haven't unboxed it all but you guys know I used to do subscription box reviews and I had done so many of you been watching my channel I have a playlist full of reviews of subscription boxes but my favorite one if you guys remember was has always been boxycharm after a while I had like canceled everything and just kept boxycharm and then like lifestyle boxes like Cosbox and FabFitFun but boxycharm is the only makeup subscription that I kept because it is the one that is like the big dog like boxycharm is that chick but I had like unsubscribed for a while like after I sold my house I just unsubscribed from everything so I wouldn't keep getting boxes to my old address and it's been some months and I kind of just wanted to see what was going on in the world of makeup subscription boxes and boxycharm so I subscribed at the end of I think it was September for the base box and also the premium box and it was on the wait list for boxylux because you guys remember I had boxylux but once you get off you go back on the wait list because everybody wants boxylux so they sent two September boxes and then both October boxes so I have all of those and I'm going to see what goodies we have so let's get into it so the first thing I see is this Kate Somerville Exuela Kate this is a moisturizer lactic acid hyaluronic acid Los Angeles California the moisturizer hydratant I like the word hydratant better than moisturizer I don't know it's like this green cream it looks really soothing yeah that's very nice actually I'm gonna put this on my hands I feel like my hands could use a little moisture right now it does have a scent but it's very fresh it's like like spa ish I probably would use more so on my hands or like on my decollete because I have what I like to use on my face and I really just want to stick with that and not really deviate next thing I see is check a black play pots add colors to your eyes lips and cheeks with play pots so this is color is pink pearl and it's a shimmer finish Let's see what we have here Ooh, that's a pretty color Ooh. Oh, this is like perfect for fall. It actually matches my nails like perfectly and it's got like gold shimmer in it. Oh, I love this. I am definitely going to be using this. This is so pretty. I'll definitely use it on my cheeks because I feel like the color blush that I wear is about this shade anyway. Ooh, I wonder how it would look on the eyes. It sounds like it would be really pretty. This is Perlis Ageless Glow Serum. It's a BB cream, SPF 40. This is my color. The thing I like about BoxyCharm is they actually ask you questions about like what you like, what you prefer to see in your box, what shade your skin is, what shade your color is. So when they send you stuff, they typically will send it to you in a shade or a tone that will match. Love that it's a BB cream with SPF 40. I don't really wear full coverage makeup. I haven't really talked to you guys about makeup. I've changed so much. So right now, the type of face I have on is typically what I would go with on a daily minus the eyelashes I don't really do full coverage foundations anymore outside I'm most likely going to go with like a light to medium coverage like the Pat McGrath so if I'm going to wear a foundation it's going to be more like something like a BB cream so I'm glad that I have one in my shade now so I can try it and it's got like algae collagen vitamin C it's got some good stuff in it okay moving along they also included oh Mally I love Mally so Mally used to do Beyonce's makeup I don't know if you guys know that but she has her own beauty line. I have some of her products. This is a gel waterproof liner. Oh, it's black. Oh, 
Ooh, that is very nice. Pally, yes. I love her. Ooh, let me be careful. I have some of her shimmer sticks. One is like a beautiful rose gold and another is like a gold color. And I like to put them in my inner corner. I do not wear inner corner highlight anymore. Can you guys believe that? Like on a daily, it's just not something that you do. When I was a teenager, I always had inner corner highlights. They made the eyes pop, okay? I need to get back to that. Sparky Charm is making it hard to not stay subscribed because this is a good box, okay? This is the last product in this particular box. Still have three more boxes to go. So this is the Booty Drops Firming Body Oil. Caffeine a butt forklift. Are they serious? This has got grapeseed oil for a baby soft booty. Coffee-based skincare for all babes. That is very interesting. I've never tried anything like this, but this is the bottle. It's got a little dropper on it. Really, just like an oil. Hmm. Okay, we will try this for the buttox and see if we can get rid of some of that cellulite back there. Firming body oil. We shall see. Squeeze three to four drops into your moisturizer. Oh, so you mix it. Or you could use it directly on your dry skin. Let's see what is in the second box. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the second base box. Just literally grabbing stuff and opening it. This is the St. Lux Brow Gel. Oh, good, because I'm running out of my Morphe Brow Gel. You guys know that's my favorite gel. But I would like to try something different. So I don't know if this is a firming gel like the Morphe gel, but I like to keep my eyebrows firm so they'll set in place all day. It's a tiny little bottle though. It's more like a sample of anything. This, is this a full size? This brow brush will give you precise placement of your brows and the lightweight gel has no residue or dry. Okay, so that's nice. Morphe does actually leave behind like a residue, if you will, because it dries down hard, which I actually like because they my brows don't move at all. This one, I don't know, we'll see what it does, but this is a $22 bottle, are they kidding me? Like this is the smallest bottle ever. It's more like a sample than anything. I would not pay $22 for this, but let's see how good it is. Oh, eyeshadow palette, guys. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I've gotten to the point where I won't really buy an eyeshadow palette unless it's like really small or if it's something that I really wanna try, like a Pat McGrath or ABH. This is by Blink, Beauty in a Blink. Glow Getter Face Palette. Oh, it's a face palette, not an eyeshadow palette. Four shimmer shades, four mattes. Some of them I wouldn't use, like Accomplished or Talented. Those would be very ashy on me. Ambitious, I could see using as a blush for sure. Resilient as well. Highlighters and whatnot. Oh, do they start putting lifestyle stuff in here? So this looks like a little wallet. What is this? Interesting. It's like a little eyeglass case. Oh, brushes. Wow, I love makeup brushes, y'all. Need to wash mine. I have so many makeup brushes. Many. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm in the hundreds now. These are pretty, though. This is like a face brush. I would use this for like contour or blush. Actually, it's too dense for blush. I like my Jaclyn Hill blush brush. It's not as dense. And then some eye brushes. Oh, I love little angled brushes like this because I like to shape my brows underneath. And this is like a little eyeshadow brush. So that's cute. Elena Badro. It's a baby blue set. But you can travel and store your brushes in style with a luxurious tan pouch. So very nice. We'll definitely keep the pouch. We'll definitely use the brushes. Then we have Dr. Brandt. I always love getting Dr. Brandt and beauty subscription boxes. Triple eye cream. I have a couple of Dr. Brandt eye creams, but they're different. This is a triple antioxidant eye cream. It's formulated with A3 Power, a dynamic shield, boosted with antioxidant, age defense, and anti-stress ingredients. $46. Dr. Brandt ain't cheap. I have a black one and I also have a white bottle, but it's not this one. It's different, so we'll try it. That's the only time I would try Dr. Brand. Then we have Real Her Gold Digger Moisturizing Lipstick. I love the packaging. It's rose gold. It's so pretty. Gold digger, not like gold. Like I'm digging for my goals. Can I tell y'all that Dr. Brand eye cream was $46? Oh, beautiful packaging. Look, you have me at rose gold. You just do every time. Okay. More like an orangey red. Really pretty. I'm not really into lip 
sticks. I like matte liquid lipsticks, like that's my thing. Other than that, I'm just like a gloss girl. Lipsticks I don't really wear, but I do have my select few that I really love, like Charlotte Tilbury or Pat McGrath. With jojoba seed oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. Provides all day hydration with a creamy, smooth application. Now what I do like about lipsticks is the creaminess of them. Now let's get into the big boys. Complex Culture Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. Rose Gold, very pretty. Ooh, ooh, it's nice and cooling too. I'm assuming you like just roll up on your face with it. Probably keep this in your skincare fridge. It increases blood flow, reduces puffiness, relieves facial tension, and helps tone facial contours. So, really cool. I like getting stuff like that in a subscription box because I would never buy a child, to be honest. Ooh, Beauty Bakery. I love getting Beauty Bakery. All of their packaging is so cute. If you've never seen Beauty Bakery, like their whole theme is like a bakery and so like their baking powders come in like a little flower packaging it's just so cute i love their stuff this is their milk and honey highlighter palette Let's see what she looks like oh okay you have oh oh this is nice okay you have oh honey queen being spoiler alert and be sweet now this be sweet and queen bee the queen bee is that shit like that is gorgeous very nice then you have verb ghost oil soothing moringa blend weightless hair oil okay very nice i like hair oils something like this i would just spray on my scalp it's got moringa oil it hydrates and fights frizz now i do have frizz i live in humidity climate so have to fight frizz on the daily this is actually like oil you need to put in your hands rub it and rub it through your hair i love spray oils better now i see a tarte product this is tarte c it's a lotion skin perfector so it's like a lotion i'm assuming you wear under makeup for added radiance oh so this is like a glowy type primer the magical glow effect of bioluminescence it's got micronized pearls that reflect light to blur imperfections it's a four-in-one complexion perfector works to prime and extend makeup wear okay so that's exciting i'll definitely use it i like tarte products I really miss like pre-COVID because Tarte every year would take like influencers on this big trip and they will all vlog it and it always looks amazing. I really miss those travel vlogs. Pray things get back to normal soon so we can start seeing stuff like that again. Then we have Lorac Cinnamon. This is the loose setting powder. This is a pretty brown shade. So I'm excited to use this. I love setting powders. Concealer is one of the products that I use on a daily. So to be able to set that, very nice. And then the last products in this box, still have one more box to go. This is Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. I love facial masks. I really, really do. Not gonna lie, it smells like icy hot. I can imagine putting that on my face, like I'm gonna feel something, I'm gonna feel like it's doing something. It gently clarifies skin with BHAs from white willow bark, fruit enzymes, along with aloe and blue tansy essential oil to soothe the appearance of redness and irritation. I don't really get redness, obviously. Irritation, I do kind of get, like if I go too hard with my proactive products when I'm trying to clear up a breakout so we can see i feel like this would be really nice like on a self-care day like you're laying in the tub and you just want to throw on a mask definitely looking forward to that in the new house in the new tub the last box guys okay what do we have here so these little bruce it is a pouch of three different makeup removing wet face discs use the white one to remove makeup use the gray one to apply toners and serums and use the black one to wash your face oh so they give you three different ones for three different functions i'm really looking forward to trying that o'shea sea minerals mix Ooh, i love a little see-through like glassy type bottles like this Ooh, supercharged toning mist look one of my favorite things about toners is being able to spray them on my face. I don't necessarily like to put them on a cotton pad and go over my face with it. I love to be able to spray my face, which is why I really like the Capari face toner, the coconut one. I'm excited about this because that's my vibe, spraying my face with the toner. I like to spray everything though. Like I like to spray my body oil, I like to spray my perfume, definitely like to spray my toner. So 
I'm looking forward to this. It visibly evens your skin tone, but the micro cloud mist is the ideal delivery system for plumping hydration. I definitely want it to be firm and beautiful the older that I get, so we shall see if this does the trick. Then, ooh, I saw a Fenty product. <laughs> so this says, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, what it do makeup refreshing spray. Now this is something that I was actually thinking about picking up. So I'm excited to get it in my box. Super fine hydrating mist that can be used under makeup or for foundation prep or over makeup to instantly revitalize and refresh skin throughout the day. So that's definitely what I plan to do with it. Then we have Grown Alchemist. This is a age repair gel mask. This is a $79 mask, okay, $79. This box cost $35 and you guys have already seen what I've gone through. Anti-aging facial mask revitalizes dull skin while delivering a cooling sensation, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin hydrates so skin look plumper, healthier, and smoother. Phytopeptides, amino acids, and antioxidants, and pomegranate and green tea defend against pollution and environmental ingressors leading to oxidation and a loss of collagen and elastin. The bioactive botanical blends clear skin while calming irritation for a rejuvenated complexion with brightness and glow. That is quite the bill to live up to. For $79 too, we gonna check it out. We gonna put it to the test. All right, down to the last two products. Then we have Earth Harbor. This is Sunshine Dew, so this is some other facial mist. This is an antioxidant cleansing oil with sea kelp and papaya enzymes, wow. Very nice. Love little droppers, they're so fun. Like you would your cleansing balms. You just pour this all over your face with makeup and it's supposed to take it all off and then you wash your face. I'm actually gonna try this with one of my little face discs. Last product, guys. Finally, we get to Kissed Soft Matte Bronzing Powder by Vesca. I'm a little skeptical when I get bronzing powders in subscription boxes because they always be a little ashy and I'll never be my shade. I'll be having to go to like Sephora to get my Fenty bronzers. Oh, wow. An actual deep bronzer. I'm surprised. Sounds like Boxy trying to study in their quizzes and they, they getting it right. They're trying to win your girl back. Available in seven shades. It leaves a soft matte skin to like finish and I'm excited to try it. So that's it for this haul guys. I got some pretty good stuff. Like I spent two big boxes at 25, just $50 and two premium boxes at 35, is $70, 70 and 50, 120. Let's tally up all this stuff and see. Just round it to $810 worth of products in four boxes. That's insane. That's the power of BoxyCharm. I don't know how they do it, but they do. And I love it. I lo I've loved it for years now, and I'm going to continue to love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see a review or hear about an update on any of these products, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any of these products, let your girl know, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, be your own kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm.